Yes, students. Whatever the study of lanthanides we did, are these lanthanides with applications? Let us discuss applications of lanthanides. So, first part, these lanthanides are used as mish metals. What is mish metal? Mish metal is a combination, is alloy of various lanthanides. What remains in the mish metal? Cerium, 50%, lanthanum, 20%, neodymium, 20%, prasivodymium and samarium, about 5%, and in very smaller quantity, other lanthanides do remain present. It is used in air jet engines because of its strength, because of its tendency to withstand the temperature, thermal stability, important application of mish metals. Secondly, these mish metals are used as scavengers in metallurgy. In metallurgy, we need to remove the oxygen or sulfur so selectively they remove the oxygen means they themselves combine with the oxygen or sulfur and they are what removed so removal of unwanted thing the process is called as scavenging so we say these are the scavengers in a metallurgy see this diagram where corrosion is represented combination of the metal with atmosphere is represented. Now in ceramic industry, cerium oxide, CO2, lanthanum oxide, Na2O3, neodymium oxide, Nd2O3 and prasivodymium oxide, Pr2O3. They are used for decolorizing or colorizing the glasses. Lanthanum oxide, can show absorption in the ultraviolet region. So in order to protect the eyes from the ultraviolet region, ultraviolet waves, ultraviolet energy, these lanthanum oxides are used in the glass. In sunglasses, this neodymium oxide can be used. It can give particular color to the glass. See colors also are represented here. Various colored glasses can be obtained by these lanthanoids. Goggles for welding purpose, they possess neodymium oxide and prasivodymium oxide. And the glass which protects from neutron radiation, their gadolinium oxide and samarium oxide is used. Special property of gadolinium remains which can absorb neutron effectively. So those radiations from which we can save our eyes. For that, this gadolinium oxide is used. Accordingly, samarium oxide. If we want brown color to the glass, then more than 1% of cerium oxide is used. A brown color will be there. Neodymium oxide can give which color? Red color. Prasidium oxide, green color. Colors of the ions that we discuss applicable here. A combination of neodymium oxide and Prasidium oxide gives blue color. So various colors of the goggles we can prepare, various colors of the glasses we can prepare by this. Now in metallurgy, refractories remain. Refractory means at high temperature, the metal is treated or ore is treated, especially to keep the metal in a crucible. Crucible means container. So container is made up of lanthanides because it can withstand at high temperature. It can sustain at high temperature. There we need to reduce the metal at high temperature. Uh, we can work with these crucibles up to temperature of 1800 degrees Celsius and their metals means their borides are used. Their carbides and nitrides are used to prepare the crucible. Borides, carbides and nitrides of these lanthanides are used to prepare the crucible which are used in the refractories which can work at 1800 degrees Celsius to reduce the metal. See how high temperature it is in diagram. From diagram you will understand at 
what temperature these crucibles can work. These lanthanoids oxides, lanthanoids have the application as abrasives. Abrasive means in the cleaning process. To clean the glass, one powder is used. And that powder possesses cerium oxide to 47%. Oxide of lanthanum, neodymium and praseodymium up to 51%. And these are used for polishing the glasses. See here, example is represented. Next application in paints. In ceramic industry, special paints are necessary. And to prepare those paints, these lanthanoids are used. Cerium oxide is used to prepare yellow color paint. Cerium molybdate gives yellow color. Cerium tungstate gives green blue color. And salts of neodymium gives red color for ceramic painting. See here, few samples also are represented. These lanthanides have application in textiles and leather industries. Ceric salts are used for dyeing purpose in textile industry as tanning agent in leather industry. Ceric nitrate is used as mordant for alizarin dyes. Chlorides and nitrides of lanthanides make fabric material waterproof and acid resistant. These have application in medicinal and agricultural field also. The demals which generally possesses salicylates of praseodymium and neodymium are used as germicides. Cerium salts are used for treatment of omitting and sea sickness. Salts of erbium and cerium increases red blood corpuscles and hemoglobin. In agriculture field, these lanthanides are used as insectofungicides and in tracer quantity in fertilizers because it is also need of the plant. Now in lamps, see here one sample is represented. Salts of lanthanum, cerium, europium and samarium are used in lamps for luminescence. They are used in manufacturing of gas mantles. In this photo it is represented. They are used in gas mantles in coating luminescence lamp and for coating the screens of cathode ray tubes. Now let us discuss nuclear applications. In nuclear reactor, most important thing is control of the nuclear reaction, control to the nuclear fission. Because if reaction goes in continuation, speed increases, energy will increase and blast may possible. In order to avoid that blast, control for the reaction, break for the reaction is necessary. And to break the reaction, only way the neutron which are the cause for the reaction to be absorbed. And these lanthanides are the good neutron absorber, especially gadolinium. So, in a nuclear reactor as a mordant in order to slow down the speed of the neutron and for control rods or in control rods to quench the reaction, to decrease the speed of the reaction, gadolinium in preference along with samarium, europium and dysprosium are used in nuclear reactors. So one of the best application. Lanthanoid isotopes are used for source of gamma rays, X-rays, used as radioactive material for treatment of cancer. These lanthanides are used as diluents in nuclear fuel. One of the representative photo of nuclear reactor is shown here. In addition to the above applications, uh, further applications I quote here. See from this diagram, it is clear that during manufacturing of iPod body, which elements are used? Dysprosium, neodymium, praseodymium, samarium, terbium. For wind turbines, means the blades of that turbine, which elements are used? Dysprosium, neodymium, praseodymium, terbium. In vehicle manufacturing, which elements are used? Dysprosium, lanthanum, neodymium, praseodymium. In optical fibers, erbium, europium, terbium and along with one of the d-block element comes occurrence of that element that we discuss in length and contraction. What is the element? Yttrium used in optical fibers. Now in energy efficient fluorescent lamps, 
fluorescent bulbs which elements are used europium terbium and yttrium in order to prepare compact lightweight and powerful motors or computer disk drives which elements are used here neodymium praseodymium dysprosium terbium not only computer even our wireless device say mobile in this also for its compactness in order to have the lightweight who are used neodymium praseodymium dysprosium terbium europium and yttrium also there along with them and a screen display flat screen display in that europium terbium gadolinium cerium is used and yttrium also the magnetic properties of these lanthanides are used in medical field yes from this diagram it might be clear it's a mri machine to for mri diagnosis magnetic field is necessary and that magnetic field is obtained by these lanthanoids and to produce the magnetic field who are used neodymium praseodymium dysprosium terbium and in x ray imaging in x ray diagnosis which elements are used yttrium europium terbium for what purpose to collect scintillation light yes students such wide range of applications these lanthanoids have therefore this topic was included in your syllabus so detailed study of lanthanoids we have completed now it is a time to go to the other series of inner transition series element that is actinoids so let us start our study of actinoids from next lecture